Ordinary consumers may have a difficult enough time keeping track of the state's ever-changing COVID guidelines, but what about business owners who must negotiate the rules and try to meet their payrolls? Keeping up with COVID restrictions can be a full-time job. An exercise in frustration, but also an exercise in creativity, especially for restaurants and bars. 17's Robert Price explains why. Red tier, purple tier, orange tier, yellow tier. Indoor, outdoor, closed. What's a bar or restaurant owner supposed to do when a governor changes your chances of survival every week? Answer, understand the loopholes, look for solutions. Under the governor's COVID-19 guidelines, bars and cocktail lounges must close, but restaurants may stay open within certain parameters, thus creating a loophole for bars. Serve meals, become restaurants. But what constitutes a meal? Yes, the state has published guidelines for that, too. Potato chips? No. Slim Jims? No. Pickled eggs? No. Freshly prepared sandwiches? Yes. Freshly baked pizza? Yes. French fries? No. Desserts? No. Some might argue in favor of hot dogs. Kern County Public Health Director Matt Constantine says he applies this test. What would your mom say? Would your mom say that that's, you know, that hot dog is a meal? Probably not. When it comes to that or any question about what's accepted and what's not, John Carr of California's Alcoholic Beverage Control says the state prefers education to enforcement. Uh, if we can solve this with a conversation, uh, a phone call, um, that's preferable. You know, because we understand businesses are struggling and they're trying to do what they can to navigate this very difficult situation. Now that restaurants and restaurant bars will be forced to operate outdoors only, quite possibly for an extended period of time, there's renewed focus on tents and canopies. The problem is, at some point, a tent sealed up tightly against the cold simply becomes a COVID Petri dish. That's why, as Constantine says, the state has issued verbal guidelines on tents, too. And the concern, of course, is eventually you start to create an indoor dining area outdoor. And we just kind of recreated what the state doesn't want us to. Here's the takeaway. For restaurants and bars, staying in business during what could be a prolonged stay in the purple tier will require not just perseverance, but creativity. Not just resolve, but nimbleness. Because it's looking like it's going to be a long winter. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.